Hello everyone. A guy brought me this device. Never seen anything like this. It's some kind of laser level. And uh, it's not working. Nothing. I don't know how it's supposed to work, but probably there should be some laser, but now it's not. The guy told me that they put here different charger with higher voltage, and after that the device died. What I checked. before opening when I put my red probe on ground and black on the middle I have nothing usually when we check something like this when we put one probe on minus and the other one on the plus we have something but here I have nothing. Looks like there is maybe a fuse inside or maybe some component that blew and that's why we don't have anything in the diet mode when checking it like this. So it, it's time to open it and try to save this device which costs about two hundred dollars not so cheap actually okay let's see what's inside trying to open it unscrewed those five five screws but seems like i need to cut this Sticker, probably. Maybe I should remove it. Okay, let's try. All right, I removed the sticker. As it turned out, there is batteries inside. I really didn't know that. That's strange. So. Is it rechargeable? It should be. And it's not. It's alkaline for four cells, so it gives us six volts. And they probably put here twelve volts, I suppose. Hmm, that's strange. Let's test the cells. This one is good. This one is good. Good. And this one is also good. But it didn't turn on. Okay, I'll try to put out this PCB and see after well extra just remove this PCB wouldn't be so easy because here I have four tiny wires coming from this board to this unfortunately you can't see it but believe me that's how it is. It's really fragile. I just can touch it and that would be broken. Alright, we have to be careful. Okay, I connected the power supply and followed the tracks from the input 
to this IC we have we had six volts okay. this is strange for oh, my my probe fell so for this I see we have six volts Okay, I connected my power supply to the input, followed the tracks, and through this dot we come to this sweeping IC, which I suppose is 5 volts linear regulator. And after that we have only some voltage which is not enough let's get some more voltage I think maybe it needs 7 volts let's see if it's 7 volts and here we have and okay probably it's It's not warm, but I don't know. I need to check the element. Okay, I checked the element, and it turned out to be linear regulator, but quite unusual. It outputs 2.8 volts, so I put 2.8 volts at my power supply and when I connect it and push I got something some life so probably if we change it it's gonna be fine I don't see any laser but probably because we have some other transistors that turn on the diodes laser diodes and then this li linear regulator is only for powering the main IC okay I need to find the replacement and try to replace it okay I wasn't able to find this little IC 2.8 volts linear regulator but I found the solution I had quite a lot of this 3.3 regulators so I put one here you can see it now because I added some hot glue in order that was proper fixed and on the output this is the output I added a simple diode with a voltage drop of 0 0.6 volts so 3.3 minus 0 0.6 volts and on the output we've got exactly 2.8 volts that's the cheap and efficient solution now when I turn on my power supply you can see that this is the axis of that device and it is working so now I'm gonna put everything back and try one more time and show you okay I put everything back by the way the main IC low voltage controller you can see it on the screen
Actually, it could be powered from 1.8 volts to 3.6 volts, but I decided to put a diode in order to be like original. So now the battery is inside. We can clearly see the laser beam. That's now it's beeping. That's because it's not stable, but if we put it on the right on the right angle, not like this, it started to stabilize and showing the level. So the device is fixed. We saved it from the scrapyard. I hope it will serve its purpose for a long time after that until somebody put 12 volts in it but I think we made it better because this little IC the main voltage that it could handle is 6 volts so only for batteries but I put better step that could handle even 12 volts if we power it from here so that's it i hope you liked it stay tuned and i'll see you next time